Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. One of the major advantages of using decision tree for either regression or classification is the ability to visualize the results. So there is excellent model interpretability in terms of understanding which features are more significant as compared to the others. There are multiple ways of visualizing a decision tree, but in today's video, I'll show you the best possible way of visualizing a decision tree. So without wasting any further time, let's kick start the video. I'll kick start the activity by importing pandas as well as decision tree regressor. So let me start the activity. Now there is already a CSV file that I've used in a lot of tutorials. So I'll basically import that into a data frame DF. So DF equal to pd.readCSV and I pass in the URL of the CSV file. So this is data.csv which already exists in one of my tutorials. So that is something that I'm importing into my data frame DF. So let me go forward and run this cell. Let me go forward and now show you the first five rows of the data frame. So you have basic four columns. I have my sales column. I have TV, radio and newspaper. So these are my X values. This is my Y value. So based on a combination of X, I want to predict Y. Now let me go forward and split X and Y. So X is equal to DF of TV. The next column is radio. And finally, we have newspaper. Y is DF of sales. Since there is no error, that means I have written the column names correctly. So let's go forward. Now I go forward and I create an instance of the decision tree regressor class. So I say regressor is equal to decision decision tree regressor. I define a random state. So given that we are in 2022, I'll say random state equal to 2022. I don't want the tree to be extremely long and I don't want to carry out the hyperparameter tuning process. So I'll define max depth equal to three. Now I go forward and I fit my X and Y values into this regressor object that I've created. So regressor dot fit x comma y so we have our model ready and the old conventional way of visualizing the decision tree is using sklearn and matplotlib so let me show you that first so i'll say from sklearn import tree and i'll also import matplotlib i'll run this cell now, in order to visualize the decision tree using matplotlib and sklearn's tree module, all I have to do is first create a figure. So I say fig is equal to plt dot figure. I pass in the size. So I'll say 25 comma 20. So this is the figure size that I want. Then I basically call the plot underscore tree function. I don't want to return anything. So I'll basically keep this empty. I'll pass in the regressor. I'll pass in the feature names. So we have TV, radio, and newspaper. I'll also pass in the class name, which in our case is sales.
and I'll also set filled equal to true. Why did I set filled equal to true? Well, there is an answer for it, but I want you to discover the answer. So I want you to go in the plot underscore tree function, which is something that you can readily find in sklearn's documentation and read more about it. Now let me go forward and run this cell. So there is an error. It says there is a type error. So I think I've given list of list and I should only give a list. So hopefully this should work. Okay, now I have discovered the actual error as well. So just a sec, I have to specify figure size here. Fig size is equal to this value. So now when I run this, hopefully it should work. Yes. So I have my decision tree regressor here right in front of me. So this is the old conventional way of plotting a decision tree. Now I'll show you a way which is something that I really liked and I wanted to share it across with all of you. So let's proceed. Now in order to make the most appealing decision tree ever, I'll make use of a library. The name of the library is dtreeviz. Now let me go forward and type in the command in order to install dtreeviz. So the command is pip install minus q d tree viz. So let me run the cell. So the installation is complete. Now I'll go forward and import d tree viz. So the way I would do that is from d tree viz dot trees import everything. So that is where the star comes in. Now I go forward and create a variable viz that is for visualization. D tree viz. I pass in the regressor, I pass in the x values, I pass in the y values, I pass in the target name which in our case is sales, I pass in the feature names which is again a list. So rather than writing it, I'll copy it directly from here. So now I've basically executed the cell. Where do I see the visualization? Well, you just have to call the variable. And here is the decision tree regressor output. Let me go forward and zoom into this region. So here, as you can clearly see, you have all the data points scattered here between TV and sales. It tells you which point is the split being made. So in this case, the split is being made at 122. Any value of TV less than 122, you will have samples going here. Any value greater than 122, you will have samples going here. Once you have all the samples of TV greater than 122 in this bucket, then you have the next split made based on radio. Similarly here again, you have one more split based on TV. So this is how amazing the entire visualization is. You essentially get to know how many samples are going to which node and when you look at the final output as well, you also get a sense of how many samples are there in that final node. What is the exact value of sales? What is the exact value of the target variable and so on and so forth. One other feature that I've really liked about this particular library is once you have an input with you, you pass on that input to your decision tree model and the visualization would essentially give you the path the input takes in order to reach the final output node. Isn't that amazing? So this is something that I wanted to share with all of you today. And I wanted to share this across so that you start incorporating DTreeViz in your day to day workflow. I hope you found this video informative. If you do like such videos, then it would be really motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you.